Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the 20 most inappropriate moments caught on live TV. Now, being a live TV presenter, you know, or anchor as you guys call them in America, you know, you guys have to, I mean, those guys have to stay focused, stay professional at all times because the camera could be rolling at any given moment. But human nature, we're not perfect, we're not robots. There's going to be moments where you slip, where you say something or you do something or your body language isn't right. Just there's going to be some times where you're not on your A game. And unfortunately, a lot of these moments do get caught on, on camera because like I mentioned, the camera is rolling and they make it onto YouTube. And I love personally, I personally, I love watching these videos. This one here has got a lot of views, a lot of upvotes. So I'm sure it's going to be fun to watch. So let's do it. Delanian presumably did not realize he was on air when Craig Melvin asked him to report on the news. And his response was, oh shit, fuck. Delanian has some new reporting on something that we talked about at the top of the hour, how the Trump administration is handling the transition with the incoming Biden team or not handling it, we should say, to a certain extent. This time it involves our intelligence community. Uh, Ken, what have you learned, sir? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No. No. <gasps> OK. Julie shares her thoughts on Jimmy having more kids <laughs> and compares having children to drinking cocktails. What My the? mom is going to be so happy. What, why would she I'm be Because I'm wearing like a long lady dress. Usually when I'm on your show, I'm like, I sit and the first, thing, the first thing I yeah, do is this. Hello. I'm like, hi, mom. Now mom's unhappy. Sorry, mom. No, back to the lady dress. That's the thing. When you feel like your mom might I be know. happy, you have to. This wasn't supposed to happen. Even the poor news reporter apologizes for what's happened, even what though it's heck? not even his fault. A nation at a rapid pace, what she say? killing more of our teens than drugs and alcohol combined, is now. Sorry about that. Oh, is now no. taking the first place position on why our teens are experiencing. Fuck me right in the pussy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh my goodness. I at least this adorable reporter agrees that she's horrible at skating. Props to, to her for that. To be honest, I can't skate either, so I have no right to laugh at her. I can do backward skating then. Oh god. Oh, she's gonna fall and she's gonna hit her head. Oh well, the setting here at Somerset House. Why did they get her to do this bit? Beautiful. Couldn't they get Maybe someone else who actually bar. skates? Well the combination of mild wine and ice is probably potentially pretty dangerous. Especially Holding onto the railing. Rubbish at skating as I am. Oh, oh my god! Daisy Gray, London today, ah. Somerset House. It's oh. not a good morning for Doug. Doug is clearly not with us. Sweet Dude, dreams. Wakey, wakey. Well, Super Tuesday in the rear view mirror, and the results show a little something for everybody. Doug Lazader is live in D.C. with the update on all of this. Doug, Dude, good morning. What are you doing? Good to see you. I guess 631, pretty much the way it breaks down, eh? His, his mic must mm, be maybe. off. His Hello, mic. Doug. Hi, Doug. Uh, Dude, Doug. I guess not. We'll is he asleep? In, in a minute. The newscaster here probably has good experience. Was he asleep while checking his phone? It's with itchy gums. Maybe she's putting the entire blame on her son. Sake of Here's one for good me. banter, if you want to call it that. Um, when my son was teething, he used to like to take the big fat rubber end of my vibrating toothbrush and put it in his mouth on. Okay. And he'd just kind of sit there like, oh yeah, that feels good. This has to be intentional. That hits the spot. My gums are itchy. And he'd sit there with my The reporter is taking his job way too seriously. <laughs> and in the process, I, uh... he forgot how to walk while looking in front of him. Oh, dude. If you failed to prove it the first time around. You, Here we go. What do you have up Here your sleeve to be more Here successful this time around? I already said I will not be making any comments. Ping. Oh, my God. Oh. That hurt. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh, metal pole on the skull ah oh, you could hear the clink already said i will not be making any comment oh my god that hurt oh. there's a reason live tv has the best comedic moments here's another proof out of the blue watch the background 
knows the boy who say he's friends with their children, goes to school with them and was in the backyard of this house playing with some scooter and a bicycle uh, when that pole came crashing down, crashing on him. Dude, life. why don't you just use the Talitha door? might have taken things a bit too far. Elect Talitha, not the other rhyming word. Talitha, are we really any closer to fixing this awful stretch of road? Well, Mark, there have been a number of promises in the past about the M4 East being built, which some say is Sydney's most urgent motorway, but it's probably still a little bit too early to start getting excited. Tony Abbott still needs to be erected, ele er hey. elected first. Um, <laughs> uh, Doing. We need to vote him in before any of this happens. <laughs> Back to you. Okay, Talitha, thank you. Who's saying to not go out? The news? These lads don't watch it, apparently. They want everybody who doesn't have a reason to be outside uh, in inside their homes. You heard from the mayor who said a number of people haven't left. That worries them. But at this point, if you haven't left, don't go out. You probably can't get out of Atlantic City anyway because the roads have become overwatered. That guy. The ocean behind me. You've actually got to... <laughs> Either this man loves his job too much or his wife. Or maybe both. Goes off according to Rejection. the FBI at the location where he dropped his police under that, where he dropped the, uh, where he dropped his naps. Auditors last year found the state. Hello, nice to see you. Auditors <laughs> last year found the state. Uh, and LaBeouf obviously, excuse me, LaBeouf obviously. This news reporter is having a fun time reporting about Holly. We find Holly adorable though. And cats, they're not usually known for their love of swimming. Yeah, but one cats feline usually in Northern water, Virginia they? is hitting the water instead of the gym Aww. in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. But with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the oh, a big cat. resort. <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. A DJ girl oh. fell from her chair during a live. It happened on a Ukrainian radio station live. Oh, DJ shit. Dasha, as it is called, became famous overnight. This is why you don't lean back in those chairs. Sit still. Jeez, she keeps fidgeting. 26.26 в эфире радио Стэнти. Мы меня зовут Даша Дэнс. И это Сванки Тюн с треком Дэлла. Не зревняй, не вечуйте под трек Дэлла. Продолжая. Сванки Тюн с треком Дэлла. WNWO evening anchor Angie Gonzalez. To be fair, with the amount of moving around she was doing, it was bound to happen. Is prepping for her show, but gets a surprise before air. Yeah, anyway, she did pretty well. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Goodness. When we say break a leg, we don't really mean that. <laughs> Fox 5 Atlanta news anchors fake eyelash falling off during live broadcast. Oh, no. Hello, well. Oh, no. Why don't they cut away from her for a few seconds so she can just rip it off? But maybe that's bad. Is that bad if you just rip it off? Just pull it off. Yeah, pull it off. There we go. Looks like a, like, like a little like, like a bug or something was on there. WHIZ substitute anchor Elizabeth Choi starts the WHIZ TV 11 p.m. news without her microphone in Zanesville, Ohio. Oh, no. When the news returns from break, Choi apologizes for the technical difficulties. and Robert Preston of Grove City are both accused of conspiring to traffic in illegal drugs and launder. Proceeds of the car and the file stop income. You can tell someone behind the camera is like trying to get her attention because she's all like looking around. Yeah. Can we take a break? The only time occurred between 1997 and 2006 for facing any allegations. Okay, I have to get my mic. It fell off. We can't take a break. An anchor named Lisa Breckenridge for Good Day LA in Los Angeles crashed a scooter in the news studio on live TV. Oh, adventure design scooters. They are electric. They go up to 25 miles an hour. They are amazing. Oh, and we are out. Oh, 
take your foot off the gas. <laughs> Fox 11's Araxia Karapetian was caught dancing in front of the green screen just before our Big Deal No Big Deal segment on Good Day LA. Watch her reaction when she finds out she was on camera. Oh, can't tell if it's like what is going. happening over there? Yeah, if we had a camera over there, we'd actually if be we able did. to. We would yeah. actually be able to see what. There's, there were always. Do you actually think she didn't know? Like I don't voices know. Voices in her head. Well, I know. Whatever it is. But when she starts talking back to the voices who talk to her. Yeah. Then no! worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> she said no. Wendy Williams fainted on live television, and she responds to the fall, saying she was overheated in her Halloween costume. Slip-ups are our new favorite kind of news blooper. Some cringeworthy gold in these. Hi, I'm Claire Sweeney, and you're watching 60 Minute Makeover. Today we're in Forest Hill, Southeast London, where the kids have taken control by calling us and begging for a makeover. It's not easy to turn your house into a perfect home, especially when you've got six kids to look after. And that's where we come in. While the kids are away, we're going to be restyling this house. And we're doing it in just 60 minutes. Press like if you love this video. If you well, like this video, good bit. please. That was fun. Like, you just, you have to, like, imagine the dread, the panic that these anchors and presenters are, are feeling. They're thinking, oh, my God, I hope I don't get fired. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, so funny. At the end of the day, they're human, you know, they're, they're not going to be perfect. And really and truly, it kind of, it makes you, or me at least, uh, relate to them more because you just see them for, you know, the ordinary people, which which they are really underneath all of the polish and the, the makeup and the, the studio lights. But yeah, really, really fun video. I love this sort of thing. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.